Scott and Steve Show on Lakeland's Lake Event Radio. Scott and Steve. Hey, good morning, everyone. We are back to the Scott and Steve show. Buenos dias. Hey, how's everyone doing? All right, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. we just saw Kyle. That's why you threw me off for a minute there. That's How right. you doing there, young man? You doing well today? Do I have a name? Jeremiah. Yes, you do. Young man. <laughs> I call you that half the time. How are you today? Jeremiah, he forgot about the, the two-time rating know. show. He forgot about us today. I feel a little disrespected, man, when you get forgotten about it. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Hey, we got to get into it here. We have a uh, student athlete with us here today, Colby, and uh, he's got to get to uh, the library, actually get some work done. So uh, he's got a few minutes without we go for here. So, Colby, uh, if you would, take a few minutes, introduce yourself to uh, the people outside, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, My name is Colby. I'm from Canada. uh, Colby Gooding Mead. I'm from Canada, and I came here to play soccer for the team. And study? And I'm studying uh, for business, so I can own my own little business in the future. All right, very good, very good. Now we're la- part of Canada. Yeah, there you uh, go. It's big, big country. Toronto, Ontario. Okay, right on, right on. I've been up there once. It's almost a mirror image of New York City. It's lots of fun. Very lots fun. of fun. So, are you a Blue Jay fan? Uh, I don't really watch baseball. I don't okay. find it it's too long for me. Okay, okay, <laughs> All right, very I get good. it. Very good, very good. All right, so um, now, Kobe, you guys had uh, two games at home this past weekend. You. Uh, we're home against Lake Michigan on Saturday, and then you, uh, which you was won, and then uh, on Sunday you had Muskegon, which you suffered a tough two nothing loss. Yeah. Uh, tell us your thoughts about the game and the teams and that kind of stuff. Well, I think we played way better than the other team both games, but sadly we lost one. The second game really hurt because it was a matter of whoever scored first would win the game, and sadly they scored first on a very fluke goal. Yeah. It was meant to be a cross, but it ended up going the net. Yeah. But honestly, I think we have a really good team this year, and I think we could probably win nationals. Good for you. Uh, you heard it here. Yeah, there you go. And for those who weren't there, did not see it, what he's exactly right. The, the uh, forward went down way deep in the towards the end line. Wound up, he was probably just inside the box or right around the side of the box. Yeah. Kicked the ball up over. That was meant to be a cross, and it went over to the far corner, top corner of the net. It was, had some English it was on a it. really weird angle, and just it was uh, – Hey, you know what? You get a goal, and it is what it is. But right. uh, there's mm-hmm. a uh, hopefully a good chance we'll see Muskegon again in uh, regional play. Get it to them there and uh, yep. move on. As you said, the Nationals, that would be outstanding. Now, you guys are off this week as far as the weekday, but you do yeah. have games coming up this weekend. Uh, you want to talk about this weekend's games? You have Ensua on Saturday here, and then Sunday you travel to Cincinnati. Well, I don't really know much about Ensua, but the team's been saying that they're a strong team. Yep. And I'm ready to... Kick their butts. Okay. Right. Score a good. couple goals. All right. That'd be good. Kobe's a yeah. forward. For those okay. who don't know, he's a forward. So uh, he's, he's been having a good year. How are, how are your classes going? Uh, honestly, adjusting to the – from high school to uh, college now, it's, you guys, it's a lot more work. And uh, you don't you can't really slack off because you start slacking off. You fall way too far behind. And right. then it's just catching up, catching up, catching up. And also you're still getting work, which makes it even worse. True, right. true. No, plus, these, these two student here athletes, are, though, face a rigorous schedule yeah, that right. most students don't face. I mean, and, and I don't mind to say that you know, practices, people's extracurriculars with work like and that. part-time work don't right, get in the way right, as well. But right. you guys are always on the go, whether you're home, here, yeah. bus, what have you, traveling. So, yeah, I mean, I can see where you get behind a day or two, you're almost, you're almost swamped, yeah. you know. So that's good that you're keeping up with it. Now, Jeremiah Kobe is still a student here, and uh, he's been a <laughs> – still- Oh, I didn't mean that negatively. I, did that come no, up? he comes the negative way up. You're number eight. He is a student. No, I'm not worried let about refra- that. Let me rephrase that. I apologize. Kobe, Jeremiah is, is a student here as well, and uh, he's also a graduate, right? Graduate yeah, student. Multiple so he's, times. He's taking classes. No, see, Steve, he does it in a negative aspect. Uh, well, I'm just highlighting <laughs> keynotes. Steve is actually the bell curve killer. You know, the people in the class who have got life experience, world experience. They normally class, do it because and, of his And he comes in and gets the A's because they would do it. And that's so right. That's Steve. So he, he's also both. He's they felt two really bad. Are still we're both currently. Eventually, he's going to be on Social Security. <laughs> no, we're, we're not, uh, yeah, we're, we're both students as well. I yes. do all my my whole program through Youngstown State is online though. So, yeah. so he has that really big monitor so he could see everything. That's right. <laughs> the blue light filter late in the evening dims it for me. Yeah. So uh, t- tell us your favorite thing about Toronto. 
Mm, probably downtown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, are you hanging out in the Ryerson University area, or where, where are you thinking when uh, you're saying downtown, where are you thinking? That's a big city. I'm talking about more like around like the Raptors, the Toronto stuff. Okay. 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 I forget what it's called. So not by the tower and stuff like that. No. More on the other. Okay. It's all right. So what, what do you like to do? Go to. I mean, what, what do you like to do? In- I just like to walk around and go to like the mall and stuff. Okay. Right on. If we were to visit Toronto, what would be the one thing that we should see or do in your opinion? Well, mm, I would say go downtown. Go downtown? Yeah, Is there? But yeah. what should we do down there? It's big. Uh, probably go. I don't know. So much stuff to do. Pick so, one, man. Come on, make a decision. <laughs> There's a lot to do there. I say, I say go down to CDC and Tower or watch a blue CNN game. Tower. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. Very yeah, good. I mean, it's it's a city that almost doesn't sleep. Yeah. And it's very like, it, it's much like New York City. It is. It is. It's a great you city uh, from that aspect. That's awesome. So you've been in the States now since uh, summer, right? Yeah. What's your thoughts? Honestly, it's not as good as Canada, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually I'm somewhat happy. agree. <laughs> All right, well, we got to ask. Give us just one aspect that you feel that Canada is better from what you're experiencing as a as a person. Uh, just one. I don't know. I feel like the people are more friendlier in Canada. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. I believe it. Very good. Plus, Very we good. have free health care. <laughs> free health care. <laughs> Not only you don't have a state that starts with an M, ends with an N. Oh, geez. Here we go. Whatever. Mississippi, Whatever. no, but... All right. <laughs> All right. So tell me, M and N. tell me about the significance of 23. 23? Everybody, usually it seems the athletes have a somehow tie to the number that they, they choose or would like to have, but is uh, that a... Uh, it's not really... It was, I just had 23 when I was younger, uh-huh. and I just stuck with it. And okay. so far, I changed my number once, and I didn't play, I didn't have as good as a season. But ever since I went back, I've had a good season, so I just kept it 23. Okay, right on. I just wasn't sure if it was a little bit of a yeah. you know a throwback to Michael Jordan. Well, Jordan more or less. I mean, he, you know, let's say he <laughs> started you heard of with Michael him. Jordan. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see him play, or is that before your time? Oh, uh, I've never seen him play. I, like I've watched his stuff on YouTube. Though. Yeah, yeah. Before his time. Amazing. Yeah. We're getting old. Oh, All right. And any? Uh, do you have any questions for us, or anything you want to know about the college that we could help uh, you with? No. I'm pretty set. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> well, you know, if you want people to be friendly and stuff, you also have to reach out. You know yeah. I mean? So, <laughs> you know, no, just tease you. All right. Kobe, I know you got to get to the library and stuff yeah. and uh, get going on your English, right? Yeah. So, uh, thank you for stopping in. No uh, problem. And, uh, Where are you taking English? Which one? Uh, the development one. Okay. Yeah. How's it going? Could be better. A lot better. It's English class, man. It's... It's it's dry. It's yeah. rough. I thinking back to when I was here, you know, as a student, it was just that was one of the classes that just rocked my world. Yeah. You know, it's just ugh. just just for John, keep your head to, keep your head up and keep on keeping on. But definitely not one of my favorite subjects. Hey, before he leaves, though, we do have a a, a prize that we're going to give away today. Maybe we sure. can let him know so he can if he sees people, he might want to you know relay it along as well. Right. And, uh, you to, can't to be yourself. the first caller. <laughs> yeah, and, and go from there. So you want to talk about what we got happening here today, or uh, share with what it is? Um, yeah. Uh, and I I think Jeremiah said he was aware of this, but uh, Big Pearl Paintball is in uh, Connie out Ohio. Uh, they sent us a gift certificate for an entry into their Fortnite scenario, November third. So, uh, kind of inquired into what Fortnite is. Apparently, it's a game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea. So, uh, what they're doing is they're kind of replicating replicating a Fortnite game into their paintball scenarios. Huh. Cool. Uh, so, like I said, it's November third. This gift certificate gets you into that along with a gun rental. 500 paintballs, all day air or CO2 included with the entry. So um, I don't know how we're going to do this. I think we just kind of do spare the spur of the moment. But uh, yeah. we might do the first person to call in. We might do the first person to stop up here in the radio booth. So hopefully they can hear us down there. Right. I right. didn't do a microphone check. Uh, so <laughs> if anybody is listening, throw a thumbs up. Maybe on the second by. floor here if we right. can, if you can hear us. But. Uh, uh, if, you, if you're interested, first come, first serve. There you go. That might just there be the best go. way to go. So, All right. All right. We appreciate that. <laughs> thank and, you. Uh, we'll go for there. Kobe, thank you again for your time thank for coming you. in, man. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck, All man. Right. Thank you for coming in. Yep. So come on and check out Kobe and the soccer team this Saturday as they take – oh, we got a thumbs up out there from uh, – Thank you. Uh, did you hear it? There we go. So good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, Kobe. Um, 
All right, so we probably should get into it a little bit, right? A little college football. Do we want to talk about it at all or, or not? Uh, I know you guys have already been going back and forth some. I think we went Nebraska pretty good. Nebraska, yeah. yeah. All right. Because they're as threatening as a teddy bear. Hey, win, they're, they're Big Ten nonetheless. A win's a win's a win, right? Is that how it counts? Yeah. So uh, what do we got going on this weekend? How about there? So M- Michigan has who this weekend? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Your head? Let me pull out the trusty old cell phone. Right, we'll go to Ohio State while he's checking it out. Though. Ohio State is at Penn State this weekend. That's a big game. That's oh, a big yeah. game. Uh, now, Penn State obviously has uh, been having a pretty good year, um, and uh, they're, they're, they're knocking this as uh, one of the top two games. The other, of course, being Notre Dame and Stanford playing this weekend. Um, so there's there's some good games going on here. Four versus a nine seed. Ohio State theoretically should roll. I believe they're favored in the game. Uh, Jeremiah, what what is your fixing up the uh, mic thing here? We're going to ask you here real quick what your thoughts are on uh, Penn State, Ohio State. Um, I'm not worried that much about it. It might be a mm-hmm. little bit close. What's a little, this is, what's a little bit close? Fourteen. Wow. Okay. So you're thinking it's going to be a blowout then? Fourteen means a blowout. Yeah, that's that not point. a little bit close. Yeah. A little bit close. Well, that's not really a, a little blowout. bit close. Would be like well, a touchdown. It depends when they less. score the last touchdown for sure. You know, but you're, but you're thinking they're going to. So you thinking oh, so it's going to roll? No questions, no concerns at all, anything like that. That's what I hear. From yeah, you. At first, it might be you know that getting used to the environment, but sure, it'll develop. Well, Trace, any any concerns about facing Trace McSorley? I mean, you don't have Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa's out for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for the year. For, yeah, they said, they said for heard, the year. I, I heard just back out November, today. I thought. He's out now. That's yeah, pretty much a year. Yeah, bowl game. He'll be back for a bowl he'll game. Probably, he'll probably be back ready to go for the Michigan game. <laughs> a lot yeah, of, a lot of usually faith. the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So. Yeah, that could be. So uh, Bosa being out with McSorley and uh, uh, Miles uh, Sanders is mm-hmm. the running back. Uh, any, any concerns there? You're feeling good. Wait, Sam, we don't have a running back, Sanders. No, Penn State um, um, does. Very astute, though. <laughs> but at least he knows his That's team. Right. He knows his roster, yes. Can we, can we play the Ohio State uh, uh, game song? Was it uh, Hang, Hang on, on Sloopy? Sloopy? Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't it. This isn't Hang on Sloopy. No, this is something else you know, for you. Play, oh, man. Playing this just ruined our chance at the best show of the year again. I did. We, we're going to have to make yes, up for that. We have to overcome that. Oh, Michigan oh, is softer than Ohio State. Oh, I'm sorry. How long has he been holding this? You should have held this for when they play each other later yeah. in the year because, you know, that's that's the time to have that. Doesn't mean I don't have many others, man. Oh, uh, okay. Don't you realize this? <laughs> what do you right, just does with this time? Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, trolling Steve is like the best thing out of the day. Did you say trolling? <laughs> That's what yes. I heard. <laughs> you troll my page? Oh, no, man. No, trolling Steve when he walks past and oh. all that. God, that makes my day every once in a while. You want to walk past the window. That's scary. Isn't it? <laughs> I have to readjust my route, apparently. <laughs> That's exactly right. You become too, uh, you, you become uh, easily victimized because right. you have a pattern of. Uh, this is stuff. true. There you go. This is true. All well, right, the so, last time I seen him was like three weeks ago, walking past here randomly. I, I want to agree with you. I do think Ohio State will beat Penn State this weekend. I would agree with that. Steve, any thoughts on that? I think Penn State will win. You think Penn State's gonna gonna pull off? I, I hate to say they upset. did it last year. They did. It, they sh- well, they should have did it last year, right? They, I thought they beat them in the shoe. No, two years ago they beat them yeah. in the shoe. I'm sorry. Yep. No, two years they beat them at home. Last year they were ahead in the shoe and then lost. Uh, yeah, this whatever. game is back at Penn State. To but State. to your point, yeah. Well, who is it? Did you were able to find out who Michigan's got? Coming yeah, they're playing Northwestern in the uh, big house. So. All right, so that should be that should be a win. That should be a roll. It should be a win from that aspect. So uh, let's move on from those games. Then, what do you think? Notre Dame, Stanford, number eight and seven. This will set Notre Dame up. If Notre I think Dame the wins Notre here, Dame will get this one. Yeah. I do too. I do too. Now the rest of the year, their games that they play, they are favored the rest of the year to win yeah. everything. Um, though I do have Syracuse coming up late. That could be yeah, a, a that, that could be a tricky game, but I think it's in uh, uh, North Bend though. Um, so mm-hmm. with that, um, if if Notre Dame wins this game, does that set them up final four for the final four? I think so. They got a they got a tough schedule. They do, but the rest of the year it's one of the weakest. It's it's almost it's almost as weak as Alabama's the rest of the way after after this coming. Well, weekend. I get it, but at the same time, though, I mean, played, if you're if you're at the top, right? Who else do you play? Correct, correct, you correct. Know? Yeah, I think that's going to be really interesting to see if that'll be enough because with it, um, let's say they win right now. Like I said, they're at uh, what are they at number seven? Is that right? Yeah, no, they're yeah. number eight. They're at number eight. Mm-hmm. Stanford seven. Okay, so if they were to win that game. If they don't, and let's assume, let's assume, just for the sake of argument, that um, 
Ohio State wins. All right, that mm. would probably keep them at four. I would assume Alabama's going to roll. They play nobody this weekend. Uh, Georgia and Clemson uh, are all should be wins from that aspect. That doesn't jump them into the four. So you're banking on upsets down the road in order to get Notre Dame in at that point. Right? Well, it always sort of happens that October and the November thing. That that's that's what but what my point in saying the changing is changing months. Yeah. So at that point Notre Dame though was banking others to help them. Oh yeah. You know, and it's uh, gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. All right. Well who's <laughs> who's gonna take the loss in Ohio State? I don't know. I haven't looked at anyone's schedule that's right. outside, you know, Bama and all that. Right. Okay. Well I'm just I couldn't curious. tell you who, you know, number three is. Scott can. Number three for the rankings. Oh, it's Clemson. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Georgia's two, right? I don't know. <laughs> Georgia's two. He's letting you know. Alabama's one. All right, Georgia two. Clemson. Well, I thought he was asking me. While no, you no, no, no. Yeah. He's just letting the crowd know. Ohio State's four. Yeah, right. I know that. Okay, all right, all right. Virginia Tech fell from the uh, rankings. They got hosed. Wow. No, they, they lost bad last week. It was embarrassing. You but, I don't even know didn't the they family played. go down? How was that? Um, they didn't go on this this past weekend because that was when I was OD. That was a couple weekends ago. They went and OD, uh, that's right. I'm they went down wow. and they saw yeah they saw a blowout and that, they had a ball. They loved gotcha. it. they loved the school. They had a good time. Um, I worked so right. uh, I, I missed it, but uh, it was uh, they had a good time. Good time cool. by all. So go Hokies. Uh, we'll see how that goes though. But uh, they need some help there. Um, what else do you guys want to get into today? Want to get into pro football, baseball? What do you want to get into here? Uh, either way. Oh, we got to talk. All right. Browns won. Okay, so so let's, let's I mean, talk about it. Well acknowledge we'll that. Get there, yeah. Brownies win. Yep, that's huge. Any side of sound effect for that at all or what, man? Browns? Yes. There you go. There you go. Um, better. better. All right. Well, better. I got a prediction. Oh, here we go. This week they have the Raiders. Yeah, but if that's in Oakland, I, you already know they're yep. going to lose. The hell? No, Jesus. no. Here we go. We need a new sound effects guy. So here's my thing. And Baker Mayfield. He can't, he, he really sparked that game. Okay, I get that. I get that's that. One let's half. let's talk about history though. Yeah, that's Cleveland one Browns half of one quarterbacks. Game. <laughs> right. Cleveland Browns quarterbacks versus Cleveland Browns fans. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So whether it be Hoyer, Holcomb, Couch, I mean the litany of quarterback names, right? right. Who've all come in and had this saving grace game okay and which baker mayfield had now obviously he's a talent there's so many people in this area who were upset that the browns took him because they reminded him of johnny foosball right okay right and i said from the beginning he's nothing like johnny uh football right uh what's his name johnny Manziel. Manziel. nothing like it and da, 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 da. so obviously the browns get him fast forward to now or last sunday Ends out coming and having a spectacular game. Team wins. Breaks the actual winning uh, drought. Right. Not the tie, but right. the winning drought. Right. Bud Light opens up their refrigerators. Everybody loves Cleveland. They want to hang out and party at the Factory of Sadness. <laughs> so all I got to say is pump the brakes a little bit. Enjoy your win. Enjoy, hopefully, your glimpse of your future. Right. Why are you booing that? I'm actually giving you guys props. I am. I'm... Uh, I don't get it. I don't get and it you either. can't win for losing around here. <laughs> but history it's shows. It's you. History shows this cat has one bad game. Calls it, throws a couple interceptions. They're does whatever. Out. The fans are going to be demanding Tyrod Taylor be put back in. Right. Possibly saying trade. <laughs> you know, and that might right. be a little too extreme for. I for, can't for actually history. lie there. Right. 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 So the fans lie. need to just chill out. Because they're going to get disappointed in the future. Yeah, well, I don't think it's. I don't think we should uh, put them in the Hall of Fame yet. No, I think, we, I think we might have to wait. You know, at least one more week. You know, before we put them in the Hall of Fame. Uh, but a little uh, more than week. Uh, longer than a week, you guys, you naysayers. But yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, a lot put on him um, from that aspect. And now, now he's not named a starting QB. Correct. Which. But you know what, though? I thought that was I the think, right thing. Um, I do, too. In, in light of everything. I mean, yeah. you got Taylor with a, with a concussion. Um, not that he wouldn't have been able to play this week, but right. there's no sense pushing either. You got a guy, you're out, and the Raiders aren't the strongest team in the NFL. You got that, Melissa? 
<laughs> she's Melissa not Anspa. listening. Let's be, you know, she's probably not so listening. So shout out to Mo- if Melissa Anspa were to call, we would be happy to put her on. I would right. think and put her and go from there. Maybe but, we can try. Hey, can we call them? Can we call them? Live? Oh, yeah, you know, oh, let's try that. Let's, let's, get, call. let's get Melissa let's get on Melissa the line Anspa here. A call if we could. Yeah. Although it is lunch, we're taking a risk here and getting the voicemail. Yeah, well, yeah. But, you know uh, her number. Uh, you have the web w w dot. Yes. Frenia. Yep. So, so anyway, um, so with that in mind, um, I mean, this is a time to do it. It's on the road. You know, right. might as well give them a chance. I mean, I will say that from college to here, right. uh, Baker Mayfield seemed to certainly enjoy playing on the road. He loved the challenges, that kind of mm-hmm. thing. I mean, the Ohio State thing is a is a I guess a prime example. It. Yeah, that was that was outstanding. It. And you remember when we talked about when they signed him? We you know when we, before they did drafted him, we were talking about all right. They signed Tyra Taylor, which quarterback is the most like him. I remember right. we were having a conversation right here saying Mayfield's the closest to him if that's what they're trying to do. Right. Um, now, um, it, it'll be very interesting. Taylor Taylor didn't look good. I mean, let's be honest. He hasn't looked great, but mm-hmm. he looked poor in that game three. And right. and the team did spark. I mean, everything just picked up when it came in. So, that's what they you know, need. Congratulations to them. Um, I do hope that they get at least one more in a row um, so that way I can uh, collect and I won't have to – Pay out to uh, Steve in this situation, but you never know. All right. I'm stuck well, on I'm, that. I'm, I'm looking forward to being. No. Yeah, no, you guys. No, you guys just went. We with got. Single you game. got into the five game. You and Scott say they'll win five or more, and yes. me and uh, Kyle. No, my cousin Kyle. Oh, uh, uh, Matt. Matt. Yeah, yeah. Said four or less. Correct. That's and correct. We'll all go to the beach. dinners. Right, dinner, drinks, that yeah. kind of thing is on that. No, right. we, we have oh, another nice. one for. Two games. I said they would have two after next week. So that was for a slice, right? I said they would. Yeah, this one. The, this one. If they beat, if they beat Oakland, I owe you a slice. Yep. So uh, right. we got we got yeah, all kinds of stuff. Ha- oh, we got all so, kinds of stuff happening here. <laughs> so let's talk. Uh, well, while you, I while, found it. Okay, get, right. get her on the line. Let's call for us. Melissa. Yeah, while we're doing this, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, Josh Gordon and his uh, future Super Bowl ring. Oh, Actually, man. I doubt that. Josh but, Gordon. Well, it's now going with right Patriots. now. All right, hang That's on. All right. If we get her voicemail, just hang up. Yeah. Hello, this is Melissa. Yeah, go ahead and explain it. Uh, unfortunate. Eh, unfortunate. We tried it. Yeah, we, we did. tried. We did. All right, but, so yeah, uh, Josh, Gordon Josh Gordon with uh, the Patriots. Released. Yep, signed with the Pats. Uh, they expect him to be traded. playing this week. Traded, what released, whatever. Yeah, he... Uh, Got traded for the dismal, dismal future that they have. <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the right thing to do. Uh, it was the right thing to do. This should have been done a long time ago. Well, that's, they that's wasted just so much time. They, they did. They did. They wasted a lot of time with it. And uh, I mean, I guess, you know, he, he pulled his hamstring at a shoot. Right. You know, um, late to practices again and stuff. So, you know what? I, let, I, let Bill Belichick, redeemer of everything bad, turn him into a Super Bowl wearing person. Right. I, well, I tell you what, though, with, you know, to that point, his his resume, Belichick being that, is certainly of that. But right. However, they got enough of their own issues going on right now. I mean, they're they're struggling. Goose egg. Yeah, they're they're struggling, and uh, you know it's clear that um, they're not playing real well. Um, Be- you know, uh, Belichick and Brady aren't seeing eye to eye, or didn't. Gronkowski's right. expressed some disappointment. Uh, there's a lot going on in New England right now, and um, now to that point, they're a very talented team and can turn it around tomorrow. They've got the experience to do that. But they've got some issues to overcome first, I think. You know, we've been talking about the Browns with Tyrod and obviously Baker. Mm. What's New England's backup? Should the GOAT say, I'm done after this year? Hoyer. And that's not really a future. Yeah, it's, that, that is, that is, that is second, that's the immediate the solution. And I, and I don't have a, an answer because they don't have one right now. Right. You know, and, and, and speaking of that, I mean, um, Garoppolo – Went down this weekend. Yeah, you know he uh, blew his, his uh, ACL out, what have you. Uh, so um, San Fran's looking for a quarterback. Right. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna tighten up here a little bit. Uh, it'll be interesting. Does Tyrod Taylor get traded? You know, um, not you know. damaged goods. I don't think anybody will take them. Yeah. Well, you, you never know. I mean, well, they may nurse them. Yeah. It's, just a, I, it's. I think it's a little early for that to happen. I right. think. I think they'd have to see some success with Mayfield a little bit longer. But if they do, and they say, okay, this is the direction we're definitely going right. now, then I could see Taylor getting traded. You know, midway through the year. You know, uh, give him an opportunity to get healthy and, and go back from there. This is your third string. I can't see. Oh, Danny Etling. Yeah. Seventh round pick. Yeah, I, 
You know, and okay. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, Brady wasn't a first rounder. I know. <laughs> you know? No, he, was, he was deep, but he's from Michigan, so yeah. that's all that matters. So I mean, uh, you know, it's a little, it's a little early, but but it can happen. I mean, there's a lot. They, they've got other issues, personnel issues, getting along with each other issues right now that has to be resolved first, in my opinion. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Very good. Very good. You know. How about our? Uh, how, how about the wonderful Bengals, man? Any any comments? Dalton threw no, for what three hundred and some yards. What have still, you? I he's mean, still got, he's actually. Re, re, I think my assessment is a little bit of a resurrection of his air game this year, mm-hmm. which is good. Obviously, just couldn't pull the trigger on the Panthers, but uh, you know, uh, even though it's been six going on seven years with him and uh, AJ Green, right. you know they're still connecting. Yeah. So, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's still young. It's still early in the season. All right. I know. I, st- I tend to tout my two and zero, and I was loving it. But <laughs> you know, in a division with the Ravens and the uh, Steelers, it's tough. Ravens might be the team no, to that, beat. I mean, and that and, yeah. and the Bengals beat them already. So we got right. that one out of the way. Right, if we right. could pull a split, I mean, we can win both. Then that's great. That's I mean, great. if we split, that, that's still good. Right. 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 Because Baltimore should be really good this year. Should be. They should be. They should be. Now, the Steelers came back and got a big win uh, against Tampa Bay the other day, which yeah. uh, I thought was a little bit surprising there. And, and, and the whole Le'Veon Bell situation, guys, still sitting out, still what have you. And, and He's the, not coming back The, the advice from uh, – I'm trying okay. to remember the okay. guy. The, well, the advice that he just got from somebody, um, I, the guy who left their team last year and went to the Patriots, the, the, the defensive player um, – Porter? Uh, no. Um, he was a good player, played there for years. Then they kind of phased him out. Oh. Is he still on the Pats? No, no, no. He's, he's a hitter. He's uh, James uh, Harrison. 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 Oh. His, advice, his advice to him was to come back, uh, practice real hard, because that way they'll have film of it, teams will have film of it, and then on Sunday to say, I'm too injured to play. I don't feel good. Something doesn't feel right. Just not play and do that for the rest of the year so he can get his time in. That's his advice to him so he doesn't get hurt. That's horrible advice. <laughs> that's, that was his advice. That's so horrible advice. I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. But that's Never mind uh, the yeah. organization. Right. That's just – I agree Well, with the offensive lineman already ticked at him, you think he has a chance when he comes back? Oh, he needs to be traded. Uh, he does need to be traded, but they're not going to. The gonna, morale, they're going to I don't see that happening up. this year. Well, I should say it could happen this year, but they're not going to get anything f- much for him. But oh, no. they wait to the end. The they're not going to get anything sits, for him. Right. The longer he sits, the less marketable he is. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, the Patriots are, or excuse me, the um, Steelers are looking for trade options at this point. So uh, does Cleveland need him? Le'Veon Bell? Yeah, no, they, they need them. Would that? What, what would you think of that? I mean, they're a team with a lot of cap space. Uh, right now, let's, they have, let's just say it ain't gonna hurt. Right, right. The ties right now, they have what was it? He, Cold. He can even Jets. go to Cincinnati. I forgot the third team that they were seeing last night. That has the one that needs them the most mm-hmm. at the current second, which you sort of see it, Indy and um, they. Indy does have oh, a running yeah. game. Right. So, Jets, Cincinnati yeah. Cincinnati might pick, pick him up. You never know. you got to be careful about these things. Who's that? Cincinnati. What would that do for Cincinnati? Do you think? Oh, dude, it would totally that'd be open enough? up their whole backfield. I think that would be enough? Yeah. See, I don't think he'd be a good fit with the Browns right now. The estate, Levy and Bell's a tremendous athlete, but I, I think the Browns don't have the running game for him. They don't have the offense. They don't run the offense for him. Right. It just wouldn't be no. a great fit. And frankly, you just got rid of one guy who was a headache. Do you want to bring in another guy who's got a lot of stuff going right. on? You know? Right. Levy and Bell is one of those guys you need a good wide receiver core or even tight end to compliment because once you open up the air, right, uh, it opens the door for the run. Right. You know? Right. So, right. Or vice versa. You know? True. True, true. Browns aren't ready. No, I, that's where I'm at with that. Well, not playing. He's agree. not completely worth that much. Are you kidding me? Love you and Bell. Oh, he wants like up there, like oh, seventeen money million in that. Well, for how he, many years? I don't know. Isn't, wait, that's isn't, at least a year. Wait, he isn't wants. he isn't he getting that now with the uh, with that contract? No, he's getting like fourteen. Oh, fourteen now. Oh, okay. I'd pay three million. I know. More to keep him. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that sad? He's yeah. complaining about over fourteen. Well, you got to have standards. You got to you got to have scruples. Right. Well, the good thing, though, I will say to you though, is that he's he's already forfeited forfeited two and a half million. Oh yeah, true. So I mean, Pay the money. Right. So he he has he has enough money saved, or he can save two and a half million. 
I don't need it. Right. I, I mean, well, even before you know, that, getting in a year, oh, poor him, 14 whatever million dollars. Yeah. Well, we're in a different financial situation and right. a different livelihood. So I, I, I agree with you, but on the same aspect, I think it's very difficult for us to get put in that position of, you know, I mean, running back's a finite life. And so if sure. you're only getting yeah. a one year contract and you know your risk of getting hurt. Not only that, that, but I mean, how much they use him. Right. I mean, yeah. he's almost a every every play, every two play right. running back, sometimes back to back. I mean, he's getting a lot of mileage on those legs. Right. And mm-hmm. it, quite on, as, well, just pretty much any position. One one hit, you could be done. Right. Yeah. So for him wanting a three year, and now that they're going to co- guaranteed contracts, that now that it's kind of been broached in the NFL, right? I can see why he's saying, no, no, no. I'll sit. I'll sit, and I'm going to forfeit eight million dollars this year, but I'm going to get three years at. Right. Even if it's fifteen million, I mean, mm-hmm. in a lesser amount, three or fifteen. I mean, he's making more money. No, in the he's going to probably want something up there, like the eighty million for like thirty. And what are they? Well, yeah. You know, e- either way, I mean, yeah. my point though is he's good. He'll be getting guaranteed money mm-hmm. a certain amount versus what he could get now. Because if he gets hurt now, he's he's SOL. I mean, so and they're one and two, right? Uh, Steelers. Yeah, uh, yeah. All yeah. Right. So next week they'll be twenty a quarter of the way through the season. Right. You know, and if they lose, right? I think done. I think he has to be in by game eight. He's got to be back. For he's, it to oh, count. he's got time. That was I just don't think if they get another loss that they'll be ever to see playoff. I, I think it'll be too late. I mean, they would have to go on a little roll streak. Little roll. But I think they're good enough to do that. I, I really do. You don't think so? Oh, Big Ben's looking shaky. He, he, he's I another one who's good enough to do he, it. They need to have an exit plan too for him because well, he's 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 true told there. It's yeah. coming. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All I care is about Antonio Brown getting the sketches. This must be on your fantasy league. Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm 3-0 and in both. You know, this is probably like one of the best falls I've ever had. You know, Rooting for Cincinnati, my Sundays are pleasurable. Not being involved with the fantasy league, my Sundays are pleasurable. <laughs> I get to enjoy my Sundays. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Sunday. Such, sometimes Just it's make such sure a whatever, Nat, all later, Nat. Oh, uh. I stompled, you know, whoever. And I, okay, you know. <laughs> stompled. Yeah. That's a can four-hour use that word. A, can you use that in a sentence, please? You just did. I stompled them. <laughs> what is the definition? <laughs> can you give the origin of the word, please? Origin. <laughs> yeah, what do you got going on here, microphone-wise? Yeah, I just I, lost. I, I hear ringing. Lost something That's over me. here. With everything going on here. That's this one. Hello? Hello. All right. So, uh, any paintballers out there? Anybody play paintball? Let's get our first person in Let's here. Let's get one person, person up here. here. Get Let's this go. gift free. certificate. You can free call. Gift, yeah. Free gift certificate to call Big Pearl out in Conneaut. Big Pearl Paintball and their Fortnite event they're having on November 3rd. So, all you Fortnite people, I don't know what it is, but Must if be you're, teams a, if you're an avid Fortniter... And you would like to give paintball a try? This is your way of uh, maybe breaking into that with this gift to get good to pretty much equip you for the day. Pretty much. So we are looking awesome. on the second floor of S Building. If you aren't familiar with our actual location, they just listen to us. I know where we are. Exactly. Well, that's about, well so, people in China were still wondering as well. Right. So yeah. if you come to the okay. second floor, we are right here on the corner of the hallway and the dining hall, second Excellent. floor dining hall, right by the uh, international flags. All right. You mean the good. bridge near the... On the bridge. Let's not jump off it. Right. Uh, hey, um, I do have a question for you. As, um, now, on October 3rd, right? Yeah. That's a Wednesday. All right. There is... Uh, during our time, there's going to be a, uh, a spirit thing uh, for the for Lakeland and the uh, uh, bond issue, I believe, and, and all kinds of Where stuff. Levy. Yep, yep, going going on uh, down at the hive. Hive, do we have the ability to go on location? Move our show live to the hive on that day, and you may not have the answer right now. Mm-hmm. I just found out about it, so I thought that might be a, a really happen. interesting thing. All right, of course, especially since up here we're somewhat. They have a luncheon in Breakers. Okay, so, so that'd be that'd play be good, anything uh, out the Breakers. Sure, that'd be a good idea to move then. Well, I, that's, they're having a luncheon, and we're on at noon. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, so I guess I would throw it out to you is if if we can go to the hive, you know where the hives at, yeah. right? So if we can still it's get hive. herd seen there and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I had the laptop down there. It gets the internet connection pretty decent. All right, that's the only thing. What would be the issue? Connection. Okay. Yeah. 
Which well, if you could check that out, uh, let us know. Maybe uh, we can look at something like that. It might well, be I saw I saw Tim pop his head in here a minute ago. I don't know if he's mm. still in the office, but uh, I do have a major announcement to make. Oh. So, um, should we drum roll it or? Uh, yeah, you know what? Like, give us a drum roll. All right, here give we go. A, give me a the drum roll. The announcement, folks. And I, the announcement. You know, and I'm speaking on behalf of a, you know a larger group, but we do need a drum roll for this. This is right. big, big breaking news, Very folks. Big, breaking big. news. I forgot which one. Oh okay, my never gosh. mind the yeah, sound this effects. Is, uh, this is the manager of the That's station. Like I said, we need a new sound effect. Holy guy. cow! Oh, come on! My gosh, here I can't make believe a decision. It. No, not that drum roll. Okay, different one. We'll just deal with that. <laughs> no, one. I'll get it. Chill out. Ah, oh, there we go. Except it's the elongated. We'll, we'll cut it down here pretty quick, or something. Well, he said big news, right? We're losing viewership by the moment. Yeah, All right, what do we got? Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and staff girls. infection has entered their candidacy into this year's dodgeball tournament. Woo-hoo, yeah, the go staff infection. De- That's right. Re- returning the champs. Returning, returning champs of the dodgeball tournament. Oh, baby, returning champions. We are taking well, on all it. people. We're taking on all people. All people. Anyone who's so, got the gumption. If you're listening, oh, get a team. Well, we know Tim was listening. Why? What did he say? Because <laughs> that's what he did. He did what? He was able to access the computer and hit that. So we've the been song? hacked? We've been yes. hacked? Yes. I don't like the song. Steve How many versions of this do you have? Than Ohio State. Oh, quite a few. We've been hacked. Other one. Let's, let's, We're cut being hacked let's cut man. this. Let's cut this off. Huh? I, I, I'm trying to pitch the uh, the the Jeremiah. The, do you have a team the together? Ball do you have a team together? No. Anybody Are you gonna have one? I didn't even realize you were doing this. Yeah. Oh. Well, were you at the involvement? The involvement fair. We even talked to him. You were there. No. Well, I was talking to people oh. and that, that was. So we're our five summons that. back. We are returning as our championship unit. That's right. And I'm inviting and throwing out the challenge to any students listening. Listen, this is a great event. Last year it was is. the first year they had it. A lot of fun. Uh, if you like playing dodgeball, definitely see Patty McHugh on the second floor S building. She's organizing the event in November. I don't have the date off the top of my head. Uh, Jeremiah might be able to pull that up. But it is a round robin type of uh, system where yep. even if you lose, you do go into a loser's bracket. So it's Jeremiah, not, can you share us more about Jeremiah the loser's bracket? Jeremiah knows how the loser's bracket works. <laughs> Don't but, worry. Uh, I know all the but, uh, rules already ahead of time. Being that we were the only staff team to yes. enter, or employee team for that matter, Correct. I should say, right. uh, we, we had the opportunity and the honor to play alongside of all the other student teams that did uh Smoked enter. them all. And we did. We smoked we them did. all. Now, I will say it took us a few days after. We did have to, to recover. It did, take about, it, did, it did take me about three days. You don't days. realize how many bets are already starting to develop on that. You're right, because you know what, Jeremiah? Bets, bets don't mean anything, because we got this again. Oh, no, because it's another out. faculty team coming out. Is there? Oh, there is. Oh, Who's yeah, that? Who Who's it? coming on? Let's see. I can't tell. What do you mean you can't and tell? And not looting is an actual just, bet of the showdown. I'll just go to Patty. She'll tell me, because we will win this dodgeball tournament again. I guarantee you. I got to no. know. I got to know who the competition is amongst our faculty. Well, well, no. I already know the rules as of yesterday. Well, the rules have oh, changed? Did the rules get oh, back? Yeah. Well, how have they changed? What's going on? They'll find out. Are you going to play poor sport again this year? <laughs> Do you realize how red his face was that day <laughs> when he stomped out of the, out of the jail? Daddy's trying to con me into being a referee. Oh, uh, be I don't know thing. if I, I know. you can't do our games though. That would yeah. be a bias for yeah. sure, for sure. Um, so, so are there any new rules that we really should discuss on air? I mean, come on. Oh, there, it, there's he, some. He okay, well, really, what, what, really what? Give me one. Give me one new he has, rule. He has no Let's idea. say if it comes down to a showdown, one versus one. Is that like a showcase but, showdown? One versus one. You mean one on one, like one, yeah, one on team? one okay. for the team that's left standing Imano, in that? Imano. Okay. You're going to be running for your life. Wow. Oh, they're going to shorten up the court as well, though? Oh, yes. Okay. How do you shorten up the court? You're going to be running to your you give line. another mid-play. line. You'll, you'll be able to go past mid court at that point, probably go up to a. You know, three You're going to be running like for that. your dear life. Yeah. Oh, Especially man. the way some of those guys. Throw Especially ball. him. That would be kind of funny watching him run for his life. As long as, hey, we won. I, I do have the... We only uh, lost. You do realize we only lost one last year. Yes. yes. And that was in the final yep. against the uh, average Jobs. Yep. 
I would say, though, Holy that smoked. he was talking about how we'll be running because they'll be able to attack. We'll also get to attack them up to the three. No, I'm I don't, talking about I don't the foresee one that one, opportunity you know? because we'll so. never be down to one ever again, I don't think. I think we're that it could good. could be. I, you know, sometimes we'll we do see like about the other faculty it. team comes into Yeah, fruition. we want to know who that is. That's other right. faculty team, we want to know who you are. We're we need, calling you out. Show us who you are. We need to get shirts. To guts. We need to do something. We do. Just right. like the other shirts that were yeah. being worked on Everybody's, really well. Yeah, gotta, <laughs> hey, where's my shirts? I ordered two of those. Yell that was daughter. being discussed, actually, right now. <laughs> that was over a year ago. If my daughter well, told if my daughter's listening, whatever. she was supposed to help design. I know she put something out to us. I already paid for these shirts. Uh, the ones Well, we're you about said design. about waiting, because we didn't have a huge order. We're discussing on ordering them now and what they're, it'll be coming in the very near future. We already had this in the conversation. Year 2000. <laughs> All right. All right. We already so, had this That's ball tournament. That's awesome. So, are you putting a team together? Well, if you're officiating, you can't be putting a team together. Exactly. So, are you officiating? So, is it Tim, Matt? Um, is Ty going to play? No, he's not even a student. He's part he's of the radio station. Up. Oh, he's just hanging out at the meeting? Okay. Kyle, well, you know, you owe some uh, food anyway, Kyle, right. if you I ever didn't realize to come it was back. cold enough to wear a winter Seahawks hat. Right. <laughs> I know. It's like 70 at least, degrees out. I thought it was going to be colder yesterday. I was wearing Today the temperature tonight. is dropping. It's supposed to be in a high uh, 40s, low 50s tonight. Burr. So it's going to be dropping back. So Good. All, all those people that are Good. concerned with the weather from that hmm. aspect. Chilly. But, yeah. Yes. Gilmore plays uh, Beaumont tonight. I'll be off there watching my daughter play in another soccer game, so that'll right be uh, pretty exciting there. Anyone looking to do that's a 5 o'clock start over at uh, Gilmore Academy. Come uh, come support the teams, see how they do. Next weekend i got to go uh, Kent State to watch my niece's Central Michigan uh, Chippewas take on the Lady Golden Flashes yep. in field hockey. Field hockey. How is she doing? Mm-hmm. She actually injured herself before the season even started, so they're going to think about. I think they're thinking about Red redshirting shirt. her. Okay. So, All right. So then she doesn't want to uh, come back. So she's traveling and practicing. Right. Right. But she's not cleared to what come back. What uh, did she do? If you don't mind asking, or, I don't know. What I don't want exactly, to violate any hippo rules. No, I don't know like, exactly what she did, but she had to have orthoscopic. Oh, knee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah knee. Yeah, not good. All right. Yeah, well, depending what it is, that could be not good. But. Uh, well, if it was arthroscopic, though, that's usually a smaller procedure, yeah. which is she good. Was, and if she's already back practicing. She was playing in the summer good. league. Okay. You know, down in Florida. Okay. And, uh, you know, she enjoys it, obviously, doing what she does. But right, right. That right thing injured, happened. Yeah, getting injured right before her freshman freshman year. Well, <laughs> most so. students take five years to graduate. I don't know if she will or not, but if right. she does, I'll give her – or get a grad, grad, grad uh, graduate degree. Right. And i give her the opportunity to play the whole time. Yeah. That's, that's so, a good thing. But I know well. she's loving it. She's enjoying it. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously, uh, just fell right into the team, right? Teammates, and that's stuff awesome. Like that, so that's great. That's great. So that's this weekend, the seventh, the seventh, so two weeks, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Very Kansas good. State, Very so. good. No, he has to run for his life on Sunday. Ah, uh, yeah. I got. A, I got other. I'm not running. Working. Oh, you. Unfortunately, I'm working. Really? We couldn't get yeah. enough people to sign up for it. So. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some. Uh, Officer oh, Keeler oh, will be though. Him and his fiance will be participating oh, nice. in the uh, Clock Tower Run this Sunday. That's right. A uh, little bit of information. If you are on campus Sunday morning, please avoid the south end of campus. So that's anything south of uh, Arthur Holden Circle to the T-Building Circle. That will right. be uh, the actual part of the route that the, the runners and walkers will be using. And a uh, portion of Garfield Road will be shut down as well. So it's if, a good if you, time. If you plan on showing up to campus, yeah. uh, before 10 o'clock in the morning, just enter through the main entrance on 306 there and park go. strategically on the north end of campus just to alleviate any kind of headache and avoid Garfield Road. So I'd hate to see people get stuck. And, right. you know, it is a little bit of a pain. Turn around and go back and double right, back. Right. So just, just enter through main campus. Jeremiah, are you uh, doing the radio show that uh, again uh, for this show, for this event? Me and Tim. Nice, nice. What if you Good guys morning. did this, a live correspondent runner in the Lakeland Clock Tower run, with a headset, interviewing runners as you're running. Well, it had to have wireless, which we don't have that. Okay. That goes over think about. that span. Something that would be cool. Because you think that's a decent span. I, th- I, think, I think next right. year that, well, you know, you only have to get the runner on the way in and way out. It doesn't have to be the entire race. You can yeah. get them on parts well, of it. Well, the mean, Jeremiah. We could enter Jeremiah in the race right. and let them get the people on the way out and the I starting like line and stuff like and it. way in. That would be cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe what are we? What are we going to? You know, I know. I was going to say we're getting some of these soccer. Then teams the other thing, you don't want to run at the risk of injury either. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. It depends yeah. on also yeah. the weather. <laughs> they're in Cincinnati, actually. Yeah, let's not do that. No, they're in Cincinnati this okay. weekend. And right volleyball is out of the road as well, gotcha. so all of our fall teams are gone. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Uh, yeah. yeah, the only other thing would be the weather, where we That's, could place that mm, good point. for the receiver for the wireless. If it, you're too close, the building cuts down. We can that do it. stuff. We can get this done. Believe me. It's all the it, weather. It can happen too. because I could be running with my cell phone in my pocket with my Bluetooth yeah. called into the show. Oh, big time. Not true. I mean, it, it might sound like this, but you know, <laughs> so, no, mine, but it can happen. mine would sound like this. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it can happen, ladies and gentlemen. So maybe next year we'll think about that. Uh, Lakeland Lake effect radio correspondent there we go. in the Lakeland I think that'd be clock a great tower idea. run. That'd be a great idea. So if you, if you're a runner though, it's not too late to register. They're taking registrations the day of the event. Yep. Um, yeah. so it's a great event. Of, a lot you're of one fun. of those people that like to kind of hold out and see what the weather's doing. It, yep. You know, you could definitely do it the day of. Yep. Um, it's quick. It takes about an hour for the 5K. Uh, yep. It's a 5K run and or walk. Four-legged friends are allowed to walk with you or run. On a um, leash. No. But they must be leashed, yes. Right. Correct. They must be leashed. Yep. Um, so uh, definitely a good event. Uh, proceeds go to benefit student scholarships. So in turn, it does come back to the students yep. 100%. So. Uh, this is a, a great set activity. up by the Lakeland Staff Association, and each year they do a great job, and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So, uh, like I said, if you are a runner and or walker, just want to enjoy a nice stroll. Yep. Lakeland Clock and Tower it's supposed to be decent that day. It's not supposed to be raining early right. in the morning. Chance of a uh, little bit of sun and breaking out. Got these really cool tie dye shirts. Shirts are a, awesome. If you need to take a look at the shirt, they're down in the atrium on the uh, the clock tower. Clocky, I think they call him. The, the yep. little running clock tower down there. He is donning one of this year's shirts. So. Okay. Um, I wanted to try to get someone to get conned into pushing that along the track. Hockey. Hmm. Oh, okay. That would be actually kind of funny. Sure. All right. <laughs> or maybe you guys just next year run by with your money a clock tower clocky outfit and we now have a mascot that can show up at basketball games and soccer games and baseball games. That would be awesome. Oh, oh yeah. Like. Great. It'll work really great. Who's that new mascot I saw? Some major league team got a new mascot. They're already calling him like the ginger something or something. So <laughs> I don't know. I haven't oh, seen I that. I don't know if it was the Giants. Oh, I haven't seen that. Orange? They're, yeah, they do have orange, so, yeah, so I, I have not seen that. Let's check some, that out. Getting some, uh, definitely some, uh, some interesting to slash bad press about. <laughs> <laughs> kind of has this weird gaze on his face, too. Just like this. Like, so maybe it is San Francisco. Man. <laughs> right. so, I don't know. So, you know, you're... Um, your niece, right? Talking yes. about potentially uh, maybe sitting this year, that kind of thing. Right, right. That, that's really had actually a big impact in college football already. Is they're talking, you know, the um, the students being allowed to play four year or four games and still redshirt, yeah, uh, for the year. So there's already a couple quarterbacks. I don't think so, though. I don't agree with that. Uh, you play, you play. Well, I'm not disagreeing, yeah. but I'm saying, but there's already a couple quarterbacks now that are that are transfer. They've already indicated they're going to transfer because some of the underclassmen are, are coming into play a little bit and, and they feel they're losing time. Uh, Jalen Hurts uh, being well, one. I get that. You know, he's he's yeah. he's been replaced. He's going for the – But eligibility is eligibility. Right. Well, the Clemson quarterbacks doing the same thing. I, mean, I can leaving. come back to school at Lakeland because I've never entered the sporting realm and, you know, yep. I'll be center field for you. I, as long as – I long can throw uh, hop just like the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good just make sure you have that you know on your phone nine and one <laughs> and All your right. finger close you to kidding me i'm gonna carry a defibrillator with me <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's all. so Sometimes anyway all you have to do is be a full-time it. student if you're a full-time student you can come and try out we'd love ah, to have you, you know? gets in the way ah you know priorities 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 but uh so so what else is going on hey baseball red sox baby 106 yeah. wins. Come on. Got to feel the Didn't love the a little bit just there. just like whammy them pretty good? Yeah. Let's see. We Our first night, we played our complete JV team, and uh, we won. This, this, no, that was true. We did. Uh, we had, Let's see. Our, I, I went to that Friday night game. We had uh, our, our backup. Our third string catcher was playing right field. Mm-hmm. Uh, our backup uh, infielder was playing center field, and our backup um, first baseman was playing left field. Exactly, and we still won. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you there. You know what I mean? All I got to say is if Francisco Lindor does not get the Golden Glove this year, something's wrong with baseball. At the shortstop? 
Yeah, he, uh, he's a solid, solid candidate for sure. He, he for mm-hmm. sure is. I, I, I don't Dude's know. Got moves. Yeah, and I don't know if there's anybody that's better, you know, across the league, quite honestly, because he both, does it both offensively and defensively. But right. uh, yeah, he's he's solid. He's solid D there. Talk about the Indians. I, I can see why he played his music. No, especially when he go to Chris Sale. <laughs> yeah, Chris Sale. He threw what uh, three and a third innings, struck out seven. Yeah, I would, I would definitely play this. You know, that's, that's then that's the makes gave sense. up three points. I gave up two. If you were there, and um, the second one actually wasn't even in the game any longer because he has pitch limit. Coming back from two injuries uh, onto his arm, so yeah, that makes a lot of sense there. Yeah, yeah. It's all the excuses. Oh wait, who did, you, wait who, did, who did you throw? Who did you throw that night? Trevor Bauer, maybe. And Trevor Bauer mm-hmm. lasted uh, how long? That was his. Was it his? Yeah, that was his first. Game? Yeah, yeah, it was. So they're so, both coming off an injury. So you're making fun of one guy coming off an injury and playing this, but man. the other guy is doing a similar thing, and it's okay. Look at this. See, protecting, are protecting his bow socks. Yeah, I mean, well, you got to be knowledgeable. Passionate. I have, Passionate. No, I have no problem about making an argument, if but know the know the information. Four you know? out of three. Don't don't. Passion. That's all I heard. Four out of three. That doesn't even make sense. Four out of three. We played seven games this four year. Out four three. out of three. <laughs> so four out of seven. Four out of seven. Seven. Yes. Four. To three and as I admit openly, and I owe Cheryl Poto uh, 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 some stuff as a result. Um, we the Red Sox did lose uh, the last series two to three, you know, um, or two to, two to one. Excuse me. We you know we you know let me tell you, man. We clinched the day before we didn't play anybody. I mean, it happens, man. It's all right. It's all right. I'm okay with that. You know, I, I'm all I, I can feel hear okay. is 106 the wins coming. Well, you know, hopefully Oakland takes care of them. You said 106. Yeah, right now we're at 106 with four to, or Solid. five to play. till the Yankees mm. come. Maybe, maybe. Why we'll are they see. playing them soon? No, oh, maybe. Well, they play them. Actually, oh, you're talking they, postseason. Well, they actually play this weekend, and it doesn't matter. Right to Boston. I mean, they're, I mean, they're right. not going to see any pitching. Right. You know, kind of like when we play the Indians, you're not going to see any pitching. You know, you, you. I mean, they're you, resting their guys. Yeah, you, you do, and and what they're doing is they're they're playing the guys who like Pomerantz pitched two to three games. Pomerantz is going to be on our postseason roster. You know what I mean? I mean, th- those are the things that it's like it's okay. You know, be happy for the win, but understand what's going on. You know what I mean? I don't see the tribe going anywhere. Same they won't get by year, Houston. They're not going to get by Houston. Houston's good. Houston's a good team. I think Houston might be the best team. Right. Honestly, they're they're a good team. So over the weekend. We still have the pizza bet. Yes. So if Oakland wins, I get the pizza. Correct. If you, if Oakland loses, you get the pizza. Do yep. we want to throw anything else up on the board? Well, what, what, you want to do Ohio State, Penn State? Sure. Seems to be the closest. Sure, sure, sure. I, yeah. Well, I, you think it is, or do you think Notre Dame, Stanford? Ooh, let's do that one instead. That way, there's no real. All right, yeah. you know, stake in the game. I right. guess if you will. I, I want to. I want to pick Notre Dame. Well, so was I, and so all was right. he. Yeah. Oh, all right, no good. That would know. suck. All right, so we have to get to go Ohio State and uh, and. Uh, I say Penn, Penn State. State. You're going Ohio State. Yeah, that's a slice of pizza and a diet coke. Then if I win, I'm gonna flip flop. Flip flop. He's going Penn State. He's going Penn State. Yeah, I'm gonna go Penn State. You in? Yeah. That's two people. All right. Yeah. So that's pizza for each of us, and if you win, then you can get a soda and a pizza from one of us. You know, you good with that? So you guys will have to split at the cost. That's why I'm saying a well, pizza one of us and will, a soda. For, oh. Yeah, so you'll get two things. We'll each get one at that point. Yeah. You, are you comfortable with that? All right, I'm gonna go flip Penn State. They're they're gonna they're gonna get it done. I hope th- that's now betting with my heart. Uh, and that's I, I think it's it. more the emotions. Yeah, and that's no. that's usually the bad way never, to never bet with your heart. I know, and I just did, and that's usually a, a recipe for disaster. But that's all right, you know. I hey, think it's hope more they can the do emotions. It. You know, right, it well, doesn't matter to me one way or the other. It is it. All right, yeah. we got to get going here. Uh, we do have a we do have a show that's after us, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah yep. one o'clock, and we don't want to be uh, rude, discourteous. That's correct. So, uh, so, hey, come on, support your Lakers this weekend, Saturday. Right. Uh, they play this Saturday. Men and women uh, play Ancilla on Saturday. They play at one and three o'clock on Laker Field. Come on, support the soccer teams. Um, that's all free. we got home this week, and it is free. free. Anything else you guys want to hit? Clock Tower Run yeah. Sunday. Clock Tower Run this Sunday, and uh, next week I'll just touch right. on the uh, the Red Class again. Well, that sounds so. awesome. All yeah, right, it seems like that's actually working out really well. All right, very good. Have a great day, everyone. Let's go Lakers. Bye-bye now. Bye now.